everyone. Welcome back to Stamp with Anna. Today I'm going to show you this third card using the new Bubble Over uh, stamp set that is available in the Occasions catalog that just went live. And um, this is a, it's called a Dutch Gate. And I added a little uh, ribbon to it because I wanted to make sure it stayed secure. So, but it opens up like this over like this okay so it's really an easy card to make once once we get started you'll see that it really is um, very easy to make but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the stamp set we're using we're using the bubble over stamp set which is brand new in the um, occasions catalog and it's a fun set it has two bottles some sentiments and lots of different options for layers in these small little circles everything just coordinates so beautifully with the um die set the the possibilities are really endless of what you can do with this you have the two bottles you have four bottle caps two straws this makes a great little bottle cap um you have a, a heart and a lot of these things these dies will die cut images that are in the designer series paper which you can get for free during celebration, if you place a $50 order, you can get this package of Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper for free. The um, stamp set and the framelits are available as a bundle, so it's, you get it at a 10% discount. And here are some cute um, samples that Stampin' Up! has done. And there are another two samples here as well. Now, when you're looking through your catalog, when you see this little image this little symbol here that means that there is a, um, a video on Stampin' Up's website and YouTube for you to uh, watch and get more ideas and I've used I've been using this paper quite a bit I really just love it it's so bright and cheery but I did want to show you some of the pages that are in there get these pretty stars and then the flip side of that is these um, gorgeous diagonal stripes and you get these swirlies and these are bought, this is a great pattern made by um, just lemon lime twist bottles. Whoops. Then you have this whole row of bottles, some bubbles. Here are the hearts, and these coordinate with the dies in the set. And these bottle caps also coordinate with the dies. And there's blue stripes behind that. And then there's this um, yellow honeycomb. And then the flip side of that is those bottles. So again, um, this can be free if you order, if you place a $50 order. So uh, the designer series paper that we're going to be using is this one here with all the different bottles. And what I love about it is that the dies, the bottle dies, can cut these out. So this large one will die cut the large bottles and this small one will die cut small bottles. So it's really cool. You can not only stamp these images, but you can also die cut them. So let's get started on our card. So again, this is what's called a Dutch fold card. And um, the way you make this is you start out with some cardstock for the base. Now I'm going to show you an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock can get you one and a half cards because let me open this up and I'll show you just what I mean this piece here is four and a quarter by eight and a half so if you hold your your cardstock horizontally you cut four and a quarter four and a quarter and this leftover piece is what makes this gate here so you can see you get two and a half cards from one piece of cardstock. So this cardstock then is four and a quarter by eight and a half, and this piece is two and a half by eight and a half. And then we're going to do some scoring. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. In the larger piece, I'm going to hold it horizontally, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. So this is going to make a regular sized card. I'm going to take my two and a half by eight and a half piece and I'm going to score this at two and one eighth from either side. Two and one eighth, flip it over, 
two and one eighth. Oops, excuse me. So now I'm going to take my bone folder. Oh, not that one here. This one. <laughs> And when I bring these over, I want to make sure that they meet. You may have to just finagle it a little bit before you crease down, because you don't want there to be a gap. Because if there's a gap, when you put your card together, you're going to see the white piece that's on the inside. So there's that. And then I'm going to fold this one over. So this piece goes right here. And there is the basis of our card. However, before we attach this, because I wanted a ribbon on mine to keep this shut, I'm going to attach my ribbon now. And I'm using the new Lemon Lime Twist ribbon that's in the holiday, excuse me, the Occasions Catalog. And it's just a mini striped ribbon. And it's really, really delicate. It's really nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold this backwards. You know what, I think I might use some tear tape for this. because this is going to take this is going to get some some use some pulling on it so I'm going to put some tear tape along both edges here oh. and with my piercing tool I'm just going to remove that background tape If I have any hanging over, I'm just going to rule that in. And I'm going to center this piece of ribbon right here and press right there. And then I'm going to come in and just put some snail there because I do want that to have some adhesive on it as well. And now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to line that up right here on the bottom. I've seen this done online where they have you start on this side butting it up and then trimming any excess and the reason I chose to go this way is because I want when I close this I want this flap to stay closed so that's why I line it up on the bottom okay but you can certainly do it any way you'd like as long as it stays closed to your satisfaction now I'm going to make my layers and I'm using tempting turquoise because it's one of the colors that is so um, vivid in this designer series paper and these are cut for the top one here this one is cut four and an eighth by two and seven eighths so it's going to fit there and then I need two little pieces that are cut at two by two and three quarters so I'm going to just attach those right there and there's a small little border on this this one and when I when I do put the second one on I do want to line it up so that it's straight with the other one and then I'm going to take the larger one and I'm going to center that on this top panel Again, it's a thin little border. I'll scooch that over just a tad. Okay. And now I'm going to mat my larger piece, my DSP, onto the larger piece. Again, a small mat. Small border, I mean. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with my two little pieces. See how easy this is coming along? And usually when you find a design or a fold, once you take it apart and dissect it, it really is 
pretty simple to put together. Oh, I cut that one wrong. Oh, I put tape on the wrong one. Oh, shit. Yep, I put tape on the wrong scrap. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. There's the right one. I'm going to put that right there. <clears throat> Now I'm going to put my inside together and I have a piece of Whisper White which is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to put that in the middle. Okay, and here we have it. Now, like I said, you, if you fold this over first and then fold this one over, this is still gonna, this is gonna pop up, and I'm not crazy about that. So that's why I would rather line this up from the bottom, fold this one down first, and then bring these flaps down, and it will kind of keep that closed. Although we have this round little piece here, okay? So that's how I like to do that. So here is where you would put your sentiment. But now let's finish. Um, designing the front of it. So what I'm going to do, I have a piece of scrap Calypso Coral and scrap Whisper White. And with these stitched shapes framelits, I'm going to cut out these two ovals. This is the largest oval and this is the second largest oval. And while I'm there, I'm going to take this piece of designer series paper and I'm going to cut out one of these bottles. On this one here, I use the Tempting Turquoise one. I could certainly use that again. I wouldn't use this one because this is Calypso Coral and it will just run right into that. I could use that if I cut my bottle out of uh, my circle, excuse me, my oval out of the Tempting Turquoise. So you can go back and forth. You can do however you want. But I am going to find another one like this, which is right here, and I'm going to cut that one out. So obviously this is too big to take, this piece of 12 by 12 is too big to take through my put through my big shot. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to trim this out. You can even fussy cut it if you want, but I'm just not a fussy cutter. It gives me anxiety. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go run this through my big shot and I'm going to cut out my ovals. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with all my die cut pieces and so now I'm going to assemble my card. I'm going to take my little my smaller oval and I'm going to attach that to my larger white oval. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals, put it on my bottle. I'm going to use mini, but the um, regular ones would fit just fine on this. I think four will be fine. <clears throat> I'm going to center this on my bottom, on my my oval. Okay? And now I'm only going to put a little bit of adhesive along the top half of this. So I don't want to glue my card shut. Oops, I just ran out of a snail. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> so I have a little bit of adhesive on this. And I'm going to bring this up, oh, closer to the top, because I do have that bow on the bottom. Okay, so now remember, if I close these first, this is still going to pop up, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to close this down, and then bring those flaps in, and now they stay shut. And I'm going to wrap up my ribbon. My little arthritic fingers are not working. <laughs> All right, and there's my bow. And there we have it. Isn't that great? You can put whatever make put whatever saying you want on the inside. I'm going to use the saying that comes with the um, stamp set. May your day bubble over with happiness because it does have all kinds of bubbles on it. And I'm going to use it as a birthday card for someone I need uh, who's having a birthday this month.
So if you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I use, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And if you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would like to receive a copy of the occasions catalog as well as the celebration catalog that is chock full of items you can earn for free during celebration, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to drop a complimentary copy in the mail to you. Now I must uh, mention as well that this month is the first month of my Stamp of the Month card kit and I happen to feature this stamp set as well. The way the program works, it's no obligation. You can use whatever, join for whatever months you want and skip whatever months you don't want. If you buy from my website the Bubble Over stamp set as well as the coordinating framelits which are a bundle and you get a 10% discount so they're $40.50. If you order those when I get notice from Stampin' Up that you have ordered those products I will send you enough product to make three additional cards using this stamp set. I will send you all the paper, all the cardstock, I will send you all the the um, ribbon and uh, I will even send you some embossing powder because one of them one of them uses embossing powder. So then you have three ideas from me from Monday, Wednesday and Friday that I posted on my blog plus I will give you three more ideas and you will get access to a private YouTube video so that you can refer to the video and make your cards um, at your convenience. And last Wednesday, two days ago, I did post on my blog, right here, stampwithanna.blogspot.com, uh, a picture of the three cards that you would get supplies for for free. So if you have any questions about that, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to answer them for you as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you back on the blog next week.